Hi, this is Kimber Gwynn with U of L Study Abroad. This video explains the study abroad registration and transcript processes. This is video number six of an eight part series. The registration process is simple. The student submits all relevant paperwork to the study abroad office. This includes a copy of their passport, make sure it's in date and not expired, their flight itinerary, and confirmation of registration for CISI travel medical insurance. For students studying abroad in the summer, fall, or academic year, the paperwork deadline is April the 10th. For students studying abroad in the spring, the deadline is November the 21st. There is some wiggle room for submitting flight itineraries, as we do understand flights might not be purchased until closer to the program start date. After students attend the mandatory pre-departure orientation, held either in person or online through Blackboard Collaborate, the student course certification form is scanned and emailed to the registrar's office. The registrar then enrolls a student in a placeholder course. This course does not create a tuition bill at UofL. It simply maintains their status as an active UofL student. Please allow five to seven business days for registration. The placeholder course will appear in the student's ULink account once registration is complete. Students must earn the minimum grades listed on their Certification for Study Abroad Courses form in order for their courses to transfer. If a student fails a course, there may be financial aid ramifications. In most cases, study abroad grades are not factored into their GPA. Instead, they count towards degree hours earned. One exception, if a student is in the Honors Program, study abroad grades will be factored into their expanded GPA. Additionally, if a student applies to graduate or professional school after undergrad, those schools will request the study abroad transcript and will see grades earned while studying abroad. We adapted the course equivalency sheet to meet the needs of a virtual world. The form is now an Excel spreadsheet that can easily be completed by relevant parties who may be working from home. The first tab of the spreadsheet provides instructions. The equivalencies tab is a joint effort by the student and the appropriate UofL department contacts who determine the UofL equivalent course for each foreign class. Students will be given the department contact name and email address by their study abroad advisor. Students should fill in the title of foreign course column and type in their name, program provider, destination city and country, the term abroad, and a link to the program website. On the course descriptions tab, the title of the foreign course will auto-populate in the blue section from the previous tab. Students should then copy the course description from the program provider website and paste it into the cell beneath the corresponding course title. U of L department contacts will refer to the course descriptions tab to determine the U of L equivalent course for each foreign class. Department contacts will complete columns B through F on the equivalencies tab. The contact should then email the completed Excel sheet to the student. Once each study abroad course receives a U of L equivalent course, the student should email the spreadsheet to their academic advisor. The academic approval tab is completed by the academic advisor. The sections in blue will again auto-populate and should not be altered. The advisor is responsible for filling in the remainder of the sheet. The advisor should then email the completed Excel sheet to the student. The student will then email the sheet to their study abroad advisor. It takes between 8 to 12 weeks after the end date of the student's program for the study abroad transcript to arrive at our office. If the courses taken match the pre-approved course on file, it will take three to five business days for our office to process the transcript. We then send the processed transcript to the Transfer Articulation Office, where the credits are posted to the top left of the UofL transcript under Transfer Credits. This is an example of where study abroad credits will appear on a UofL transcript. Study abroad transcripts must be mailed to our office at the address listed here. If a transcript is sent to your home, do not open it. Opening an official transcript invalidates the form and a new one must then be requested. Instead, mail or drop off the unopened transcript to our office. Part of the re-entry process is submitting 10 photos to the Study Abroad Dropbox account. 
photos should be appropriate and not showcase dangerous activities or contain illegal substances. All students will receive a Dropbox invitation sent to their UofL email address after attending the pre-departure orientation. If students do not want their likeness used for marketing, they should instead submit 10 photos depicting landscapes, urban centers, food, animals, etc. If a student takes a course or courses that were not pre-approved before departure, they should contact us immediately. While we cannot guarantee that these new classes will transfer, we will make every effort possible to ensure post-approval is received. Students are encouraged to keep their syllabi and any pertinent work for new classes as it may be required for transfer credit evaluation. Getting courses approved upon return will delay the transcript processing time. Thanks for watching. Stay up to date on news, events, and scholarships by following us on our various social media channels. Up next in the series, Safety Abroad.